I've shown you how to make an aluminum pipe pan into an antenna for your HD TV. Now the next question. Will two pipe pans make an antenna twice as good? Let's hop to it. Ever since I posted the video on how to make a pipe pan antenna, I've been amazed at the interest everyone has shown in it. At this moment, it's one of my most watched and commented videos on my channel. I wondered why such a simple antenna was creating such a fuss. So I read all the comments and spoke to some of my followers and the basis of all this interest is pretty clear to me. Apparently you folks like the fact that this antenna not only works, but that it's simple and cheap to make. I can appreciate that. This antenna was originally designed as either an emergency antenna or something your kids could use as a school project, but sometimes simple can be better. Well, some of you want to know if I could do something to enhance the performance of this antenna. Maybe in your location, it just doesn't quite get the reception you were hoping for. After a bunch of tinkering and building, I've come up with a simple but effective antenna that I think just might help you out. So here is my second version, the two pie pan antenna, and it does perform even better than the first design without getting much more complex to build. Spoiler alert, no, it doesn't work twice as good as the single pan version, but in many cases it will work better for you. The great news is that if you've already made the original pie pan antenna, you can use it and follow these instructions to simply convert it to the upgraded version. If you haven't built one yet, don't worry. The instructions will be simple for you to follow. Before we begin, just a few technical points I'd like to make. This antenna is designed to receive strong UHF television frequencies. If the stations in your area are broadcasting weak signals, are distant, are blocked by a whole bunch of hills, trees, or even buildings, or are broadcasting on a VHF frequency, you might be better off with a different antenna design than this one. Also, this isn't designed to be permanently mounted outside. It's just pretty thin aluminum, folks. There, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Enough talking, let's get to building. You will only need a few basic parts to make this antenna. The first thing you will need is two 9-inch aluminum pie pans. You probably have a few pie pans laying around, but if not, you can buy them cheaply enough. I got these from Dollar Tree, but I don't really care for them. This aluminum they used is really thin, so it makes it difficult to fabricate. Next, you will need six small machine screws, six washers, and six nuts. I'm using number 10 by 3 8 inch screws. Now you'll need some wire to connect the pie pans together. I tried to skip the wires and just attach the pans together directly, but I couldn't get any increase in performance that way. In fact, the performance slightly suffered. You will need some solid wire. I'm using 14 gauge Romex house wire as it's nice and stiff but easy to work with. Use the bare copper wire. A 10 inch piece is needed. You will also need a piece of board or other solid object to mount the two antennas on. So it needs to be at least 2 inches wide and at least a foot or two long. I also recommend you have a matching transformer to connect the coax cable to the finished antenna. Yes, you can connect coax directly to the terminals, but before you decide to do that, I recommend you watch my video on why it might be a bad idea. I'll put a link in the description. Take both of the pie pans and draw a line down the middle of each, bisecting the pans. Using scissors, cut on either side of the line by about a quarter to a half of an inch. Cut about halfway up the slope, then a cut across to remove the aluminum. Leave the pan attached at the end here. Now take a nail or other sharp object and puncture a hole at the open end of this cutout you just made. Keep the hole centered in the outer lip about a quarter of an inch from the slot. Set the pans aside for now. Now take the solid wire and cut it into two 5 inch lengths. Measure each 2.5 inches and then mark them. Now take a pair of needle nose pliers and wrap the wire around like shown to form a loop. This is where one of the machine screws will go in to form a terminal, so make sure the screw fits. Do the same on the second wire. Now using the pliers, twist the loop into both ends of each wire. These loops will be 90 degrees from the terminal loop and parallel with each other, like this. Make sure a screw will pass through the loops. Insert a screw with a washer into the two terminal loops in the middle of the wires. Thread a nut onto each to hold them into place. Push the screw into one of the holes you had made in the pie pan. Slip the wire loop onto the end of the screw, put on a washer, and snug a bolt into place. Do this 
for all four wire ends. Your two antenna elements are built, but you have to attach them to the board to give you some strength. You can screw through the aluminum onto the board with short screws, or you can just pop some staples into it. There you go, a double pie pan antenna, and it only took about 10 minutes to make. All you need to do now is hook it up to your TV, aim it at your stations, and see how it works. I tested this antenna versus my single pie pan version, and it did work better. On this particular night, the single pan got 34 stations, and the double pan got 39. The weaker stations also came in stronger on the double antenna, with an average of one bar more on the TV signal meter. If this antenna is still not powerful enough for your particular situation, and you don't mind doing a little bit more work, then check out these links to my hoop antenna and my octagon antenna. Don't forget to high five the like icon, jingle the bell, and subscribe. Who knows what I'll be doing next, but until then, keep watching TV.